I want to go to ABC's Neil Karlinski, who is standing by uh, at the church that's nearby the school. And, and Neil, what's the latest that we have there at the situation? I am standing uh, in the midst of a pretty frantic and somewhat surreal scene at a church near the high school. This is where uh, officials have been taking all of the students, uh, take, loading up school buses, taking them, and they are reuniting with their parents here. And as you can imagine, I mean, the scene is a parking lot filled with frantic and emotional parents, parents running up to get here, and then students uh, looking for their parents and reuniting with them. Incredibly emotional, obviously, for everyone involved. I've spoken to several kids who were inside, uh, several of them still shaking, just terrified, describing being in their classrooms, hearing the shots, uh, hiding under desks, locking the doors. Uh, I spoke to one student who says she knows the shooter, the alleged shooter, uh, who police say was killed, uh, died of a self-inflicted gunshot wound, apparently inside. And she describes him uh, as a good kid, as someone she was joking around with yesterday, but who had had some troubles in the past and had been suspended recently. Neil, has that been set up then as the reunification point? Because I know that there had been a lot of confusion as there where parents are able to pick up their, their students. I'm sorry, Dan, I just cannot hear you. I, I, I understand, but I, I know it's, it's probably loud there. How many students are at this particular area, would you guess? The, the parking lot is utterly filled with parents. I mean, you have several hundred. This is, a, this is a very large school, a couple of thousand, possibly more than 2,500 kids in this school. Uh, a lot of the parents, there's a bus going by me now with, with kids, and, and they're trying to get people out of the way. Um, a lot of the parents leaving immediately. As soon as they get their kids, they're obviously not sticking around here. They're anxious to get home. Is that so you have that going on. Mixed into the crowd, I just saw two, uh, two police officers with chaplain baseball hats on. Uh, a difficult sight to see here, mingling about with the parents and students, many of whom are, are so shaken up, and, and many of them obviously wondering, are their friends okay? Everyone trying to text and call each other. The cells getting tied up in the area. Uh, many of these parents, you know, walk up knowing that their kids are okay because they did receive calls or texts from them, others not knowing, people trying to find each other. Um, but really, uh, more than anything, it is just an incredibly emotional scene. Uh, you have kids who, who really are, just don't know how to process what, what they're going through right now, and you have terrified parents trying to pick them up. Uh, the roads throughout the area are blocked off. So you have many people... Uh, myself included, who had to park a good distance away and then walk just to get to this point. Uh, and at the same time, you have you know some parents who've, who've gotten some, some terrible news. We have reports of at least four students shot who are in the hospital right now, uh, three reported in critical condition at this point, uh, and two who police say uh, are, are dead, including the gunman himself. Neil, is in this particular area then, this, this church that you're at, is that where all the students are being told to go, where all the parents are being told to go to pick up their kids? Yes, yes. This has been designated, this church has been, as an area for parents to reunite with their kids. And so you have these school buses that have been pulling up, loaded with kids, taking them here, here to meet their parents. Uh, and the parents, of course, coming from, from everywhere, from work, wherever they were, to, uh, to find their kids. And many of them walking, you know, walking past us, crying, not wanting to stop and talk, but just saying, listen, you know, I got everything, everything I wanted, everything I needed. Just so, so thankful, so, so happy to be able to walk out of here with their kids. Obviously, not everyone is able to do that. It is it, it, uh, understandably so. Are, are, there, are there school officials, are there police there that are on hand that parents can go up and talk to or at least try to, you know, find their, find their student? If there are, I mean, there are police officers here. If there are police who can help them track down students, I, I haven't seen that. There is, you know, there's more police inside the church and there are parents in there. I have not been able to actually get inside there. Uh, so perhaps they have a more organized list going on there. But what, what we, you know, basically see is just a large crowd. And it, it's actually getting much, much smaller now because, you know, you have parents just taking their kids and, and getting out of here, you know, getting them home, uh, you-, you know. That's, that's all they want, all they get hope for is to take their kids and go home, just, uh, you know, just as parents are supposed to do after a school day, but not one that ends uh, early for something like this. We're, we're looking at an aerial shot of the church that you're at, Neil. Uh, do any of the kids seem that they want to talk about this? Do they seem like they want to express 
uh, express themselves in, in, in the grief and, and the shock that they've been having, or are they mostly keeping to themselves? Now, there, you know, I've spoken to several of them uh, earlier on camera, and we'll be sharing some of that on, on World News Tonight with David Muir, and, and they describe essentially being terrified uh, and, and describe, you know, being in their classrooms, locking the doors, hiding under desks. Uh, and again, the one girl I spoke to who, who tells me that she knows the shooter and then she was in shock and in tears and just can't make any sense of it. Obviously, a, a chaotic situation from that shooting that had happened just not that long ago um, at the school. Neil, I understand there's about 2,500 students there. Um, d describe this community. This is a community about an hour north of Seattle. It's a fairly small community. There is actually a fairly large percentage of Native Americans here. There's a large tribe, the Tulalip uh, Indian tribe, that is prominent in this area. Uh, so some of the school is, is made up of kids who, who live on the reservation or are members, active members of that tribe. Um, but it's a, you know it's a relatively small uh, community that also has some some involvement in farming in the area as well. All right, and obviously uh, police there are still uh, at that Kept scene. Have to run, Dan. I'm sorry. Thank you. No, we appreciate your time. Thank you, uh, ABC's Neil Karlinski, uh, on the scene uh, at that church there.